Chef Anthony in studio again with us this morning and earlier on the KOA Morning News we prepared some baked beans with your amazing bourbon strawberry sauce that you guys that you made it's for us last week. It's going to be so good when that cooks up. Oh I'm looking forward to that. But this time around we're going to be working with pineapple brats. Yes I have pineapple brats that I got from Simon Market but instead of taking them home and cooking them I asked him to smoke them for me. Okay. It changes the texture of them so they're a little bit more mellow and you get a little bit of the smokiness that's just a different flavor and a different okay. profile all the way around so one of the big things that you want to think about when you're cooking is what you want the ultimate thing to be but never to forget that the basis of cooking is experimentation exactly so what i have here are vegetables uh an assortment of peppers and a surprise for you that has come all come from martinez so, that's, so we can see it i'm gonna pull this back just a little bit and i'm gonna put these beautiful peppers right into my skillet okay and all that beautiful color that's in there and these are all in that you they have different boxes that they offer yes, each the, week and you can do an all fruit box you can do an all veggie box they you do, can a, do a keto box for if you're on a, a keto diet or want to be keto friendly and have less sugar. Yep. And then, uh, then is, there's a combo box that's a combination of vegetables. And yes, and that's what I have left here. This is what I have left out of my combo box. I also had a head of lettuce. I had big old watermelon. a big giant watermelon and, it's just, and all the peppers um, and a mango, which is what we're going to add next. We want a little sweetness inside. So we're going to add a little mango in here and let it kind of cook in and offer some of its sweetness. Last week, the keto box had cauliflower, heads of cauliflower mm -hmm. in it. And last night, my husband made me a cauliflower soup with roasted cauliflower and mm -hmm. roasted uh, red pepper. And oh, it's so good, isn't it? it? Oh, my goodness. I've never had anything like that. So it was, it was delicious. And we're going to add a little bit of garlic, mm -hmm. some, flake some flake salt. Just because I want it to stand up just a little bit more. Okay. And this is my applewood flake salt. And just for a little bit more push, a little crushed red pepper. So you have this on about medium heat? About medium heat. Okay. And I'm just letting it slow cook to get going. I was about to say we didn't bring a, a spoon or anything to stir with, but Chef Anthony doesn't need one. No, I love tossing it around, especially when I'm in class. The kids just love it. Mm -hmm. So, and I always try to encourage them when we do our vegetables and they saute vegetables, we always have the, okay, wait we'll do one minute till I get over there and I will show you how and then you can do it. And they always get nervous, but they so always succeed. So what are your tips on tossing without, tossing your food out of the pan? Uh, practice. I practice, uh, when I learned to do this, I practiced it with dry beans. Okay. So learning to start small, start small at first and build it up to where I could get what I wanted it to be. And this is a non-stick pan that you're working with. Correct. This is a non-stick pan. It makes life a little bit simpler. I don't have to add a whole bunch of oil to it. So I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit. There we go. I want to make sure I get my onions and my peppers to cook together a little bit. And then the mango to get an opportunity to come out. And then we're going to add... I've noticed you often work with... Um, you know, with your vegetables, you'll throw in a fruit. Yes, the sweetness of the fruit uh, kind of makes things a little bit better. You can never go wrong when you add just a little bit of fruit, but be careful of what you add. I always try to add something a little bit different than what I did the last time. Mm -hmm. But by doing, I've also experimented a lot with it, so I know which fruits will go with what better. And the only way to do that is just to play with it at home and find out what your taste is. What about apple slices? Would that work with Apples go this? great with yeah. pork. And if you do a risotto with apples and you bake off your apple a little bit first or roast them a little bit first and then puree them down, a little bit of chicken stock, go wonderful in risotto. Okay. Home run every single time. We might have to make a risotto sometime. Uh, we can definitely try and do that. Yeah. It's a little time consuming, but I imagine with the magic of television, oh wait, we don't get that, do we? <laughs> no. Usually we, we start them in this segment and then can finish it by the end of the next segment. So, unless it requires an hour to cook. Risotto takes a yeah. half an hour to cook. Hmm. So we'd have to plan appropriately for that. We could do it. We might we be able to do it. I'll figure out a way. Yeah. So, and now I'm just letting everything kind of marry together. And you can see inside the pan, the colors are absolutely gorgeous inside of there. 
the protein stands out on its own and everything is already pre-cooked to its necessary temperature. Okay, well, so let's, let's let this worry. finish up. We'll go to break and then come back and uh, what are we calling this dish? This a is just onions, and sausage and peppers. Sausage and peppers? Okay, we'll come back and try our sausage and peppers after the break.